Hello, welcome to this video on how to put the advanced panel into test. As you can see on this panel, this is the uh, MX Pro 5. It has an enable disable access key. And turns out that the customer will have this key. If not, there's an easy way around this, but you will require the panel access key, which is the same for every advanced system. What you need to do is, I'll uh, show you actually that it's locked. Menu. So sync controls disabled. If you open the panel up, pull out this little connector from slot number one, and you'll see it's gone into menu. If you're testing zones, you can go into test. Test your zones. And I'll ask you for the next level password. This is a standard on uh, advanced panels as 766. Oops. Seven, uh, 7654. Enter the wrong menu here, sorry. And you get the option of with sounders or without sounders. With sounders gives you a quick few second blast. Without sounders, obviously you just get the beeping at the panel. We'll go without sounders. Just for the purpose of this demonstration, say so with sounders. All you gotta do is tick the zones you wanna put into test. You're gonna scroll down and put them all into test. Skip from the menu and ask you if you wanna keep them in test. Yes, keep in test, otherwise you just can do a thing you just did and hit the escape button. Move across to status. And as, now they are in test as displayed by the indicator light here on the panel. Now if I set off this call point. The panel will open fire. Last for a few seconds and then resets. That is test with sounders. Without sounders, obviously, the panel will light up and you'll also get the indicator light lighting up on the device. To move from test once you're all finished, simply go back into menu and go, this time go to enable zones and outputs. So it's going to disable, not enable. We're not in disables, we are in test. I apologize. <laughs> go back into test, sorry, into zones. And go into, you can see the list in test. If you want to tick them out individually, you can do, just go down and press the tick button. A nice easy way of doing it is to press escape. Just ask if you're finished, tick yes. See the test light goes out, escape. And into status. What I was going to show you is uh, how to disable just the sounders. It's another way of testing it, which is why I got confused a little there. And what we got to do is go into the menu and this time go to disable. Hit tick and go to outputs. Here you see you've got all sounders, all beacons, are all outputs. Hit all sounders. Disable light comes on, sound is disabled. Come out of your menu by escaping and then going to status. You can see the 10 zones are now got disablements, that's our sounders. Hit our call point again. And this time it'll panel will act as if there is an actual fire display in the zone and the fire warning. You'd have to hit reset there per device. To re-enable that once you're finished, you need to go into menu. Of course, to enable this time, definitely. Into outputs and turn on all sounders. All your lights go off. There is a fault on this panel, so the fault light will remain. 
I need to move your status like so you go back to your status. Don't forget to disable the controls again. So we reopen the panel and whack it in output one. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.